Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the 3D distortion effect in Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put a link to that video in the YouTube description. Let's open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and we drag and drop this video clip on the timeline. Let's select the video clip, it will turn yellow. We're going to go to effects and we were looking for the 3D distortion. So let's click on that. And when we click on that, what we want to do is hold down the control key on this video player, hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel just to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to zoom to 75% just so we can see around the edges in case we go off of the video player canvas. And these coordinates here, so there's the left, top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. These are the positions of these little pins you see in the corners. So we can grab a pin and just drag it and then we can click play and it will play like that, right? We don't really want to do that. We want to do some animation and we want to control exactly where those pins are located. So let's click on this keyframe. And when we click on the keyframe, that will add a single keyframe. We're going to move forward to two seconds. So you can have any duration you want. I'm going to set it to two seconds, get close to two seconds, and you can use the left and right arrow to get it exactly on two seconds. And we want to set some values in here. So this value is for the Y. So this will be in the uh, top horizontal um, axis right the y-axis and we're going to set it to 160 so we're moving in this pin 160 this 180 or this 1080 is for the bottom one and we're going to move that up so we're going to re remove some value and we're going to set that to 1920 so the top and the bottom now are the same so if we scrub across this timeline you can see what's happening now right so as it gets to this position, we want to move over to four seconds. So let's go to four seconds. This is four seconds. And what we'll do is set this value back to zero. And we'll set this value here back to 1080. So now it's back to its original resolution. But on the opposite side, we're going to do the same. So we're going to set this value here to 160. And we're going to set this value here to 1920. Like this. So it's going to kind of transition across like this. So it's going to do this move back and do this and we can experiment with this we can play around with it let's go to um six seconds so this is six seconds let's get rid of this here and let's set this back to 1080 so now we've got this little transition going you can see let's click play and we can see that working so let's smooth that out by using the um linear here the linear smooth and then that will smooth it out and it will sort of speed up and slow down gradually like this. So you can have this sort of effect. Now you can go ahead and click on one of these keyframes. You can use this arrow to move between the keyframes. Let's say if we click on this one or if we click on this one, for example, we could drag this handle, um, drag this handle in like this, for example, and move it to this sort of position. And if we go back and click play, now that will come in like this and then it will bounce back like this. You can tweak the animation by clicking on these keyframes and just adjusting where this uh, these horizontal positions might be. It's up to you. You don't have to do that. But I think that just adds a little bit more to the animation. You can play around and then experiment with uh, this tool. So this tool is quite interesting. You can do some interesting effects, um, some basic sort of video stuff and 3D distortion. So if, if for example, a good way to, to use this tool, if you had like a... Um, a computer screen on the as a, as a still image and you wanted to reshape the video clip to fit the monitor screen imagine if the monitor was at an angle then you could use this tool to do that this is how you would do this okay so that's how you do the animation elements remember you can overlay this particular video clip on some sort of tv screen or monitor some sort of still image uh, and then you can distort it to fit the uh, the dimensions of the video screen so let's go ahead and click the save button. We'll minimize this. Let's close this folder. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.